Valentine is coming. Where is your boyfriend? You are sitting at home. What have I done with myself? What have I done with myself? How could you make such a mistake? You are so lonely. Congratulations, you played yourself. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. It's your girl Ruti here. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, you are most definitely welcome. To all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. All right, so today by the title, you can see we're talking about Valentine's Day. We're going to be talking about what is Valentine's Day? Why is Valentine's Day a big deal? Should Valentine's Day be celebrated? And all that good stuff. Before we get into the video, Please subscribe to my channel. I mean, why are you not subscribed to my channel? Why? 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 So, what is Valentine's Day? Now, let Ruti school you on what is Valentine's Day. Okay. All right. So, according to Wikipedia, Valentine's Day, also called St. Valentine's Day or the Feast of St. Valentine, is celebrated annually on February 14th. It originated as a minor Western Christian feast day honoring one or two early Christian matters named St. Valentine. And throughout folk traditions has become a significant cultural, religious, and commercial celebration of romance and love in many regions of the world. There are many mysteries around Valentine's Day. Wikipedia says in Valentine was established by the Pope Galatius in AD 496 to celebrate on February 14 in honor of Saint Valentine of Rome who died on the same day in AD 2069. According to the Just Discipline article, there's a story that Saint Valentine was believed to have been a priest in Rome in the third century and Emperor Claudius II declared that single men are made better soldiers so he outlawed that marriage should not be for young men because young men are better soldiers and it was believed that Valentine at the time went behind the emperor's law and performed marriages in secret and when he was discovered the emperor put him in jail in his time in jail it was also suggested that he helped some Christians in Rome to escape the Romans prison. And during his time in prison, it was believed that he sent his very first love letter to the jailer's daughter, signed it from your Valentine. The feast of Saint Valentine was now established by Pope Galatius in AD 496 in honor of Saint Valentine. In the third century, Valentine's Day was not necessarily a romanticized day of love. It was just in honor of the Saint Valentine. History and stories have it that it was not until the 14th and the 15th century that people began to associate Valentine's Day with love and romance. For years and years up until today, Valentine's Day has been a day that is celebrated mostly by lovers, couples, you know boyfriend girlfriend and things like now that now that we know the history of valentine's day this video actually stemmed from me seeing a tweet from someone about valentine's day that said if a man cares about you romantically why would he not want to do anything for you on valentine's day not even simple chocolates that's hatred and i also had conversations with some people on clubhouse mostly nigerian people you know talking about um what to get your man for valentine's day um, who enjoys Valentine's Day more, men or women, and just, you know, the stereotypical conversations and the notions that surround Valentine's Day. If you don't know what Clubhouse is, you are living on that rock. Clubhouse is a new audio chat application, and you can go on there, create rooms, and have conversations with people. There are moderators in the room, there you have an audience, and things like that. Okay, so that tweet really was funny to me, and I decided, like, okay, let's talk about it. So, do I think that if a man decides not to do anything for you on Valentine's Day, that he hates you? I will say that it depends, and it's relative to the situation. So, in my opinion, if you're seeing someone 
seriously committed relationship and you guys have a conversation or i mean i want to believe that if you're in a committed relationship with someone this is someone you would have went on several dates with this is someone that you would have had several conversations with and this is someone that would know you enough to know the things that you like your love languages and things like that so i want to believe that in the course of your relationship leading to valentine's day also possible that your dating stage might have intersected with valentine's day before you became serious however the case there is a high chance that this person knows the person they're with talking from the women's perspective i want to believe that if i'm seeing a man for like six months and we become official this is enough time to know the kinds of things that i like maybe not all of it but a good ratio of things that i like and the kind of person i am as pertains to valentine's day if he didn't give me anything for valentine's day i i, I wouldn't say it's enough to say that he hates me it would just make me question you know like why he didn't get me something for valentine's day first of all and the notion behind him thinking that i wouldn't want something for valentine's day so i would say that it's not necessarily hatred it's just either this person is just not that into you or this person has you know been in relationships where valentine's day was not a big deal for him and his previous partner or it could just be that this person is just a nonchalant person by default doesn't necessarily have anything to do with you or valentine's day they are just a nonchalant person however i would say if you are the kind of person that carries valentine's day on your head there are some people that if you don't buy them valentine's day gifts their relationship is as good as over now i would advise you stay away from men that say things like oh spe um, every day in the relationship should be special my dear they will not buy you evil sweet lollipop for valentine <laughs> run and let the back of your leg touch the back of your head this is how i see it i i personally think that people that have that kind of notion that they, what's the big deal about valentine's day nobody cares to celebrate valentine's day they just don't care about you because i know that a man will do and go over mountains and cross rivers and cross valleys and shadow of death for the women they love and like if he wants to do it if it's important to you sister he will okay so i would say yes it might be that he's not that into you i wouldn't say hatred i think that is just relax <laughs> i think that is just too much but i would say it's possible that he's either just not that into you or he's just a nonchalant person or maybe you're the side chick <clears throat> i mean we all know that there are situations where like you're seeing someone valentine's day is approaching 12 13 14 you don't hear from them maybe on the 17th or on the 15th of you know february that's when they start returning your phone calls if that is not a sign that you're the side chick sis uh, I, I don't know what to tell you now onto the topic of what should you get your man for valentine first of all i just want to say that i don't think valentine's day should have so much pressure on it the way it does in society today where valentine's day has become this thing more of like a show off than the actual celebration of love most people not all most people in my experience dating back to university even high school valentine's day was a day guys especially were going to show off you know like out by the other person this guy got his girlfriend you know a huge teddy bear for valentine's he's gonna you know probably get her a huge teddy bear box of chocolates the latest perfume that was out at the time you know the most expensive phones and things like that and i personally personally believe that in doing all these things the real intention and the real meaning of valentine's day gets lost because now it has become not just a show of affection 
but a show of um, wealth. So it's more of flattery than love. That is just my personal opinion. I think Valentine's Day doesn't always have to be about gifts. And most times, it's not really the gift that you're giving that counts. It's the intention behind the gift. Some people don't really care for um, you know, expensive gifts, luxurious items. They really don't care for things like that. You you can do those littlest things for people. If you're in a long term relationship, sometimes you have probably bought all the you have probably bought all the gadgets you can buy for the person. For example, let's say I am dating a guy. I might have already gotten him. If I'm the kind of person who buys lavish gifts for my partner, I probably have already gotten him the PS5 or pre-ordered it or something. I probably got him the sneakers of his dreams or i'm probably going to get him what the perfume that he already has so sometimes it doesn't necessarily have to be expensive gifts simple things like home spa sessions in a time when we're in corona i was having a discussion with a friend she was asking what can she do for her boyfriend because um you know there's we're in a pandemic everywhere is locked down restaurants are closed you can't really like you know take people out go to hotels and things like that i suggest that you know what you can probably cook him something that he probably likes that you don't make him all the time you can even make an, a picture album of like maybe the last year of your lives together in quarantine you can even create like you know pictures and videos of yourself making into a movie and do spa sessions for him massage things like that those things are very inexpensive the fact that you actually put thoughts to put those things together would actually make for a more thoughtful gift than just an expensive item valentine's day doesn't always have to consist of expensive gifts not that you cannot get someone an expensive gift because sometimes that might actually be what the person wants but i'm just saying it should not be limited to expensive gifts valentine's day in general should not even just be limited to erotic or romantic relationships if you are single on valentine's day you can decide to love on yourself it's funny how we all preach about self-love we all talk about learning to love yourself loving yourself before this can love you and it's something that i see is very hypocritical and um it's more of like words than action because most times people tend to you know get caught up in the fact that you know you're single you cannot wait to be in a relationship you cannot wait for someone to love on you but they forget to love on themselves i i would be a hypocrite to say that i don't fall victim of that sometimes you know sometimes i take myself back and say you know what i haven't gotten something nice for myself all year i have been working so hard thinking of paying bills just thinking about you know god when <laughs> when would i be in a relationship but then there's me. I can love myself. You know, I can buy myself nice things. I can do nice things for myself as well. You even have friends. You can decide to be your friend's Valentine. It doesn't always have to be an erotic relationship. You can even, your mom can even be your Valentine. I remember there was a year when my mom was my Valentine. I ordered her food and, you know, just did something nice for her because, to be honest, my mom is the love of my life. Mom, I love you. P.O.P. All the time. Pray this out. Good pimps for her, baby. For life. And what greater love of your life is there than the mother we pushed you out, you know, after nine months? <laughs> sure, get. Valentine's Day can be what you make it, guys. And I would say that if someone, if Valentine's Day means a lot to you and you're seeing someone in a romantic relationship now and the person doesn't get you anything it might be worth having a conversation with that person because at the end of the day close mouths don't get fed and it doesn't really make sense if you really care about valentine's day and you're just upset that someone didn't get you anything for valentine's day well you have choices it's either you leave that person you have a discussion about it and then you also make the effort to get the person something on valentine's day because relationships are not a one-way street you cannot expect to be receiving 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 and then the other person is not getting anything in return because I, I believe that what you put into a relationship is what you get out of it if you want to be the only person receiving all the time the giver to get tired there should be some sort of balance to it and there should also be discussions you know sometimes it's okay to show people how you want to be loved that's just what I'm trying to say. This Valentine's Day, if you don't have a boyfriend, that's okay. <laughs> I can be your Valentine. <laughs>
have you ever heard of anybody that died of being single <laughs> at least nobody is shitting on you how they shall get go out there buy yourself something even if it is to order yourself chinese my dear order yourself a nice gift take a warm bubble bath see listen the point is if you're single this year for valentine's day <laughs> Don't worry about it, sweetheart. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Just, you know, grab your glass of champagne <laughs> and your piece of chocolate and just, you know, <laughs> enjoy life. <laughs> life is for the living. <laughs> Cheers. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. How would they know? How would they know? There are so many things you can do by yourself, you know, to love on yourself. You can watch the notebook and cry. That's okay. I probably am gonna be crying be like God when, but it's okay. You can call your friend, you can virtually watch movies together, you can do something nice for the homeless, you can do something for charity, you can buy your friend a gift, you can buy your parents a gift, you know, you can <laughs> shoot your shots. If you know you if you know it bothers you that much you can show your show that is it for this video if you watch to the very end please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up please leave a comment let me know what your thoughts are on valentine's day do you think it's a big deal if someone you're dating doesn't give you a gift for valentine's day what do you even think about valentine's day do you even care about valentine's day is it a day that you celebrate do you think valentine's day should just be a day between lovers what do you have planned for valentine's day this year what did you do for valentine's day last year how do you think valentine's day in um quarantine is going to look like don't forget to also subscribe to my channel please share it with your friends also don't forget to click the notification bell below so that you're notified every single time i upload a new video so that's it cheers and i'm gonna see you next time deuces <laughs>